So we're going to start this one standing and pretty much the whole way through we're going to be kind of standing in one spot, moving around. This is really great for creating some energy in your day if you've been slumped over a laptop or a computer or on watching TV. So we're just going to create some space in the shoulders, fire up the glutes a little bit and create some space in the hip flexors which get really short when we're sat down in the day. So come and join me. Have a little glance down at your feet and let your feet be hip width distance apart, so underneath your hips. Can you pick up all of your toes, spread your toes as wide as you possibly can, as if you're kind of doing that with your hands, and then place them toe by toe back down on the ground. And we're creating this grounding sensation so we can find this energy rising back up. And now we're just going to start to move a little bit on the feet. So can you bring your weight all the way into the toes? It might feel a little bit strange. And then can you bring it slowly back into the heels? Take your time with it, don't rush. And then back into the toes, and maybe the heels slightly lift. You're kind of feeling the energy through the legs already. And then weight back into the heels as your toes lift. Great, now find center. And then we're gonna take it side to side. So weight pulls into the left foot a little bit. And then over towards the right, take your time. And maybe your eyes closed so you can really connect to the feet a little bit more. All the way over to the left. And then over to the right. Yeah, and then we're going to find the central point of our feet from all of that. So it might feel slightly different to how you usually stand. You're kind of finding where that central point is. Pinpoint that ground down through the feet and then almost feel like there's this energy that's lifting up through the legs as your thighs draw up slightly. You squeeze your glutes a little bit, hug your navel in, hug your belly in, lift up through the chest and lift up through the crown of the head. And then we're going to take some shoulder rolls so your eyes can stay closed. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze them together down your back and then drop them down, creating some space there. Inhale, draw them all the way up to the ears. Draw them together and then let them drop back one more time, all the way up, inhale. Exhale, just let them drop back. Beautiful. And then find this lovely still space, palms shining forward, creating lots of energy in the hands. We're going to take three rounds of what's called lion's breath. And this is really a lovely breathing technique, a pranayama technique for energizing the body, creating some heat and some vibration moving through you. So if you haven't practiced this before, you're going to inhale through the nose. And as we exhale, we're going to stick out the tongue, open your eyes really wide and just kind of go for it like ah. gonna do three rounds of that and if you feel silly embrace it let's take a full breath in through the nose close your eyes and then as you exhale stick out your tongue lion's breath open your eyes ah. well done twice more inhale exhale ah. one more time inhale and exhale ah. Lovely. Now breathe in and out through your nose. And on the next inhale, we're going to sweep the arm up and overhead. Spread nice and wide through the arms. And then interlace your hands above your head. Bring your index fingers to touch. So you've got this kind of Charlie's Angels vibe as you reach the fingertips all the way up. Press down through the feet. Can you draw your rib cage in? We're finding this beautiful leg through the body. And from here, we're just going to start to circle the fingertips above our head as if we're kind of creating a halo above our head, drawing a circle above our head. And we start to feel this space open up in the shoulders and the chest. And then can you let that wiggle down into the belly and into the hips as you just kind of let the freedom of the body take over. This doesn't need to look really perfect or nice, it just has to feel yummy. So wherever, wherever you want to take this, it can be really big or really small. And then reverse your circles. Maybe your eyes stay closed. You feel the breath moving through, yeah. And then come back through center. As you inhale, press down through the feet, sweep up through the arms. As you exhale, you can take a little side bend. So over towards the right with the hands. Can you press down through the left foot and let your left hip press out to the side a little bit more. Draw the rib cage in. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, pressing into the right foot, right hip reaches over, hands towards the left. Inhale, come back through. Well done. And as you exhale, we're going to release the hands. Elbows come out wide. Draw the shoulder blades down the back body. Lift the chest. Can you interlace your hands behind your back? And then press down through the feet. As you inhale, lift through the chest. 
So if you can't quite interlace the hands, that is so fine. You can grab hold of the wrists here or opposite elbows. And then as you exhale, we're going to fold that forward all the way down into a forward fold. Now this doesn't need to be about touching the ground or touching your toes. Just let your head get really heavy. It's more about the spine. Let your chin drop towards your chest. And then just take a little wiggle out through the legs. So bend one knee and then the other. You know, wiggle through the shoulders. Just creating that space. And then release the hands all the way down to the ground, press into the feet, we're going to roll up the spine, so head will be the last thing that comes up. All the way up, take your time. Roll the shoulders, beautiful. We're going to find some balancing now, which is a really great mind-body connection. So if you've been using your brain a lot in a very kind of brain-heavy way, <laughs> this is going to bring us back. Bring the weight into the left foot, start to draw your right knee in towards your chest, and your hands will hug your right shin. Now, if you need to be propped up against a wall here, that's absolutely fine. Give yourself that support. Press down through the left foot, inner thighs drawing towards one another, and we roll around through the right ankle. Just give your right ankle a little bit of love. One direction, and then the other. Yeah, now if this feels really wobbly, embrace it. <laughs> you can laugh with yourself if you wish. We're going to start to take the right knee out towards the side, coming into a tree pose. So sole of the right foot either comes to your left inner thigh, Maybe you're left in a calf, or maybe foot comes down and you feel a little bit more supported by the ground. Neither one is better than the other, so find whatever feels good for your body. And then hands come together in prayer. Now focus on a point in front of you that's not moving. And just steady the gaze there. Breathe slowly in and out through the nose. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Well done. And then we're going to draw the right knee back into the centre line. Bring the foot all the way to the bum, so foot comes behind you and hands are going to hold onto the foot. Glue the inner thighs in towards one another, glue the knees in towards one another and can you start to press your hips slightly forwards. So hips move forward, little squeeze of the glutes, roll the shoulders and lengthen through the chest. We're doing a lovely stretch down the right hip flexor, down the right thigh. Breathe in there and as you exhale just release the right leg, give everything a lovely shake out, wiggle it out. And that left leg might be kind of screaming at you. So well done for persevering. Ooh, and then we're going to take that to the other side. So plant down through the right foot. Left knee comes in towards the chest, catching hold of the shin. Press into the right foot. That's going to do a lot of the balancing for you. Inner thighs draw in. Maybe you're just next to a wall. That's wonderful. Rolling out through the left ankle. Again, find something to focus on that can stay steady. And then we're going to take it to tree pose. So left knee slowly creeps out. Sole of the left foot either to your right inner thigh, right inner calf, or right inner ankle. All are wonderful for creating that little bit of opening in the hips. Hands come together in prayer. Maybe this side feels entirely different, so just notice that. No judgment in the body. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Well done. And then left knee comes in. Bring your bum to your heel towards your bum, your foot towards your bum. Hands catch the foot again. Thighs glue in towards one another. Press the hips forward. Roll the shoulders. Breathe in. And as you exhale, release the left foot. Give it a little shake out. One more thing, and then we're done. So we're going to come into a chair pose. Suit the arms all the way out. Breathe in. And as you exhale, just bend your knees. Sit your bum back. This is really great for switching on your glutes that get really lazy when they sat down in the day. Glance down at your feet. Can you see your toes in front of your knees? If not, can you shift your weight back slightly? Hug the rib cage in. Take one more breath in. Full breath out. And then inhale, press into the feet. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. One last little shake out. If you want to jump about, feel free. <laughs> and then come back to stillness. Left hand to your chest. Right hand to your belly. Close your eyes. Acknowledge how you feel. The energy moving through the body. The breath which is there to support you at any point in your day. If you need any other little moments, just close your eyes, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Gently open your eyes, come back to your space. Hands meet in front of the heart in prayer. Thank yourself for taking this time out of your day 
for living with love and kindness. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.